Sneaker fam, what's going on? It's your boy Jake back with another real and fake review. Finally, man, I haven't done a real fake review since what? Maybe the British khaki or something like that. So, yeah, man, things been slowing down because I haven't been copping retail, man, and I ain't haven't been. I'm not paying resale, so uh, I've been on strike, not paying resale, sell, especially for these pollens. Um, definitely on a strike with that. I'm not paying resale for the pollens. Not doing it. Not going resale with the Travis Scotts. Just um, not doing it because, like I said on my last video, I did everything that Nike required of me. Well, I got in all the raffles. I did all that stuff and still getting L's. And I would, like I said, I would have been cool if I would have got the pollens retail. I wouldn't have to even complain, but it is what it is, man. Let's get on with it. Thanks to my homeboy, Anthony. He copped, I think, Foot Locker, Foot Action. One of the foot sites, he was able to cop his pair at nine and a half. And this is my first batch and only batch because I'm not getting the, that new that new version with the updated box because I'm sure the shoes are still the same. So, hey, we're just going to eliminate this and we're going to go straight into the content, man. So here we go. Of course, we know what the new box, the uh, official box looks like. It's not black. It seems like it's a charcoal with the yellow. What this has here has a stamp. I'm gonna pull these shoes out. And I wish I would have got them, man, but hey man, just everybody doing me dirty. Uh, I have over 500 uh, lifetime points, over 500,000 lifetime points uh, with the Flex program and uh, no love. You know, I mean, I did cop a lot of things, but still, you know, when it counted, I mean, I'm still buying and uh, they're not giving me any love. So let's take a look at this one. Of course, like I say, first batch, so they're not concerned of uh, anything like that. And of course, there's going to be no weighing shoes because we're comparing a nine and a half to a size 12. So don't even worry about that. So let me get back to my little rant with, you know, none of these companies giving me love, man. So. All right, just taking a look at them. Whew. Man, I, I tell you what, that looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, even the toe box, usually when you look at the toe box, like the mud guard area, you know, usually, I mean, they both have that same boot cut. So what can I really see different here? And I can't go by scale because it's a nine and a half versus a 12. So, hmm. Hmm, hourglass shape. Hmm, they got an hourglass shape here too. Let's see, let's check the uh, the stitching above the swoosh. That looks good. It's above the swoosh. And we'll get deeper into it. It's a little crooked, but you know, that's minute stuff. It's above barely made it but it made it and this is the first batch i mean material wise and this is the legit pair i think the only thing that's missing from the uh the fake pair is the white pair of laces this didn't come with the white pair and i'm sure they would have updated that uh thus far does the leather material i mean bruh everything looks pretty okay i look at the material uh behind the tongue but everything looks, uh, this light is extra, extra bright. I had to dim you down a little bit. Let's take a look at the tongues. Yeah, just the, just the, the foam material behind it. A lot softer, a little flimsier on this pair. So we're gonna take a look at the Nike Air. I mean, the colors on point. And like I say, this is for a legit checking purposes. It's not really for, you know, what they call now for the toe. Man, nobody cares about what's on your feet. No one should care about that. So please, it's, 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 it's not all that. No one's taking the black light to your shoe while you're wearing it and, you know, looking at your shoe that hard, talking about you wearing fakes. All I can see here, okay, this one has a tag at the bottom here with numbers on it and the legit pair does not. 
That's about all I can see. Of course, they, you know, got the old school shoe tree in it. As the black, yellow laces. What we have here, same thing. Black insole, Nike Air branding. You guys can see that there on the fake. And also, same exact thing on the retail pair. Of course, new school shoe tree. So man, let me rip out these insoles. And like I say, this one, uh, it could, could have been me, but I'm missing a pair of laces, white. So I'm gonna pull out these insoles and uh, let's see what's up. Now, if I can't pull these out, if it's glued in, then we have to, uh, yeah, it's, it's glued in, unfortunately. Let's see if I can ease it out just a bit so we can take a look at the inside. Nope, I can't do it. It ain't happening. I'll just pull it up slightly to look at that stitching on the inside, and I'm not going any further. This is not my shoe. So that's the stitching on the retail pair. This is the retail pair, nine and a half. And then we'll take a look at the stitching. And yeah, the stitching's a little bit off on there. So if you would do that on the Check Check app, and that's what they look at, they'll probably fill the shoe. So I can't really uh, pull out that the insole and compare the bottom of the insoles for legit checking purposes. So um, I'm gonna read off the production dates and then I'm gonna blacklight it. It's not much else I can really do with these. You know, like I said, there's no weigh in. There's not much I can really do. The colors, materials, everything looks pretty good. I just take a look at the Wings logo, what they call the Good Wings logo, like Goodyear, and um, I'm putting this insole in. My apologies. By the way, this insole on this shoe is cut short. So it doesn't even completely uh, Fill the shoe in, which sucks. That means I have to get an insole for it. <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna read off this production date on this one. And so this is the left shoe and we have 12, 16, 20 to 222, 21. This is the left shoe. We're gonna take a look at this one. This is the retail pair that I'm reading, left shoe. This was made in 2021. 3 3 Mm-hmm. So like these boys, once they found out what they were making, this is the right shoe. 12, 16, 20, 2, 22, 21. We're gonna look at the right shoe retail pair. And we have, this was made in 2021 as well. 3, 3, 21 to 4, 10, 21. Let's see if you can get a look in there. Ah. Come on, focus, focus, focus. All right, so take a look at the Wings logo. Take a good look at that there. The print, this is the retail pair. This is the fake pair. And that is clean. Like I said, and this is the first batch. This is the first batch, so. First batch, first version, whatever you want to call it. And so, last but not least, we're going to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to blacklight these black boys and see if there's any stamps, pen marks, yada, yada. We know the deal. So, glowing insoles, whatever. Let's see. We got a Nike Air glowing here. We have the sole, midsole stitching there. I didn't do the lean test, but it's all good. Lean test. All right, we're gonna look at the right shoe. Nice shoe, man. Sucks that I didn't get a retail pair, but guess what? It is what it is. I'm no longer fighting, man, unless it's, you know, the number that I had in my head for like a real hype shoe uh, uh, that's still in my range, then I would get it. Other than that, no. Seems like you can see something glowing in here, material-wise, but that looks okay. Let's see, same Nike Air. 
glowing there. You can see the pin marks here. You can see that stitching glowing. A better look. You can see it here. You can also see it in the back. I'm uh, I'm not in an area where I could turn off these lights. Hold on here. Let me see if this will help. All right. You know, I'm going to dim this light here. See if we get a better look. So, how's that, right? Get a better look at it. You can take a look at those pin marks. You can still see it glowing there. Those laces glow the same. All right. No factory stamp, but there are the typical pin marks and you can see it here. Oh, it's too bright, but all of this is glowing here. Just the trace marks. Let me see what else here. So there is no factory stamp on here. Last but not least, we'd have to check the box. Is there a stamp from a factory on it? And I don't see anything. So that's it. Besides the typical pen marks. That's it. Turn that light off. I should be getting some Travis Scott one lows tomorrow and I'll be doing a real fake on those. Hopefully, I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, I will put this video to an end. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I need that thumbs up. Let's get this video circulating. And please don't forget to subscribe. Share this with your buddies so you get your boy Jake up to 10K subs. That is my goal. I'm at 9,500. Appreciate y'all. It's your boy Jake signing out. Peace.